Welcome once again, Facebook family, to In The Word. Today, once again, I got a, my very good friend from Spottenburg, South Carolina, Pastor Marcus Town from Destiny Church. Yeah, where well, everybody is somebody. If they keep their eyes on the prize. Mm -hmm. right. but, uh, today, we're going to talk about church hopping. Amen. I don't know when y'all going to stay and listen to us today, but we're going to talk about some church <laughs> hopping. Amen. So, you know, I know somebody's going to be curious and y'all catch the replay, but we're going to talk about y'all folks that hop here and hop there and hop here and everywhere. Amen. I'm going to turn over. I'm going to piggyback a little bit off of Pastor Marcus yeah. down in that piggyback. <laughs> All the way on the day. But yes, we're going to talk about church hopping. Oh, yeah. We're going to start off in uh, first, uh Corinthians, the 12th chapter, somewhere up in the area. The pastor, gonna, the apostle, apostle, gonna take lead. Okay, you know, First Corinthians twelve, and uh, and eighteen. But now have God set the members, every one of them, in the body, as it has pleased Him. Now, as this scripture goes on, it's talking about a natural body. All right. Okay. How God put our eyes and our ears and <laughs> our arms and our legs and our feet together. Mm. So somebody might say, well, you know, this is talking about a natural body. This is not talking about the body of Christ. Right. But this is metaphor metaphorically being spoken of, okay, yeah. because that's <laughs> what we are in the body. God brings all of us together to work just like the natural body. Right. He gives each man, and he talks about he gives uh, several gifts to each man, right. um, gives us all a measure of faith, mm. and we're supposed to use our gift. As the hand might operate in the body, the foot will operate in the body. Our gift operates in the body just like that. All right, sir. Now, that means if God has set us in the body to do a particular thing with mm -hmm. our gift, fivefold and a little bit more, uh, to be a, a teacher, to be an evangelist, a pastor, a prophet, or an apostle, when he has put us in the body to do these things, that's what he's expecting us to do. Now, some will read this scripture and say, well, you know, he'll set us at First Baptist or... Or he'll set us in the body at Cornerstone, okay? Right. Uh, but that's that's not the kind of setting that he's doing. Our church affiliation is our choice. All right. We go to the church of our choosing. We go to the church of our choice. And then when we go into that facility, the church of our, you know, community, that's another message yeah. in itself. <laughs> While we live in one community and go to a church in another community. Come on now. And, and then if we move to a community where the church is, we'll move, then we'll change our membership yeah. because we don't like to live in a community where we serve in the church. That's, that, that's another lesson though. But uh, when it says God has set us in the body, he has set our gift in the body right? so that we can function and bring glory to the kingdom of God as he pleased. Mm -hmm. But the problem is we don't like how God has set us in the body. So mm. if he set us in the body to do a particular work, we want to do something else. Right. So because we can't do what we want to do or how we want to do it, or even as we're called to do, mm. we move to another church where we feel like, you know, we can, you know, do like Burger King and have it our way. Oh, yeah. And, you know, yeah, yeah. We've we'll been saying it for a long time. Way, yeah. You know, you can't have it in a church like Burger King. You yeah. can't have it your way. But that's what we want. Right. And when we can't have our way where we are in the assembly, then we go to another assembly. <laughs> and then from that... We call it changing tanks. We call it church hopping. There's yeah. a lot of little different things that we call it. But there's a lot of variables to this. As, as most things in the body of Christ, it's an onion. It has many layers mm, to it. Watch out, there, are reasons, <laughs> there are reasons why people move from one church to another to another. But the, the, the effect that it's having, first of all, the individual themselves can't grow. Right. Moving from one Amen. church That's to another true. because you're eating off of so many different tables. Right. Mm. You be sick and don't That's know true. why you got sick because you right. don't know where you ate your last meal. Mm. But the other effect, that's, that's uh, personally the effect that it has. But the other effect that it has is on the body of Christ at large. Mm. It's one of the reasons why we can't get things accomplished. And we're always praying. <clears throat> we can't get beyond the prayer of, uh, Lord, send laborers. For the, har for the harvest. For right. the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Mm -hmm. Pray to the Lord of the harvest that he might send laborers. Mm -hmm. We're praying that for 25 years because <laughs> we can't I get see. the laborers to stay in the vineyard right. to bring forth the vision that is, uh, that's been cast by the pastor or that the church is working on. Um, you, know, you know, some people church hop <laughs> because, you know, they, they want to be president. They want to be, well, they want the picture 
to be centered on them. I did this. I'm over the pastoral committee. I'm over the kitchen committee. I'm over this. And some of them feel like, well, if I ain't over, you know, this committee, I'm going to move on to another church that'll let me be over this committee. I don't know why people got to have that mindset. You that, know, that, that would to... be that would be really nice because you've just painted the picture of the Lord of the of the uh, of the laborer of the harvest that wants to work and and you know desire to work. What we what we really notice in the church and as people don't want to do no work in the church. <laughs> They only want to, they want a job in a church whereby I'll get paid. Oh, as yeah. long as you're going to pay somebody to be a church clerk, you don't have no problem with nobody being a church clerk. Right. As long as you're going to pay somebody to cut the grass, your grass will always be cut. It's when we have to do things for the kingdom that we're not going to receive a check mm. for. Uh, the volunteer work that we do. Then we don't, you know, we, we don't want to work here. We want to, you know, we want to we wanna go somewhere where they want to pay us. But now... The church hoppers are usually people that fill in your pews that are not doing any work in the church. Right. They're, they're your parts of your congregation. Sometimes it's your, your leaders, but most of the time those are not the ones that are church hopping. Now, leaders oftentimes will pull out and start another ministry right? Um, without you know, being groomed or being uh, trained for that, uh, for that move. But what happens in the body of Christ now, the body of Christ is too weak. Uh, to make a difference in the world Ooh, because we don't have that job, power man. of unity. Now, you might need to stay there. Okay. <laughs> now, this is one thing I learned about yeah. the power of unity. The power of the unity is actually a law, mm -hmm. like the law of gravity. It's a law of God that unity has power because whether God is in unity or whether he is not, it has power. Yes, sir. That's why you see them coming together with the Tower of Babel in the day of Nimrod when he's building this tower uh, to reach heaven, and it says God has nothing to do with this tower. And God says, unless I go down and confuse the project, they're going to succeed mm. at what they're doing. And God had nothing to do with it. So there's power in people coming together. Yes, sir. But the church doesn't have that power because we won't come together. Mm. Uh, the Bible says that, uh, I'll probably read it later, but it talks about how we as men of God and women of God we don't speak, we don't uh, preach the same thing. Yeah. And that caused a lot of division in the You're body. right. But as the church is weak today because it, it lacks the power of unity, uh, the real power. I know we got the power of the Holy Ghost, but we don't have the power of unity. Right. Well, as long as I got the power of the Holy Ghost, that's all I need. I'm sorry, that's not the only power that the Bible speaks of. It right. speaks of more than just the power of the Holy Ghost. But we can stay on our jobs for many years. Come on, sir. Uh, many people. I'm not going to say everybody, but most people don't really like their job right. <laughs> unless they, you know, have a degree and have a job pertaining to that degree. But most people who have degrees right. settle for jobs that had nothing to do with the they degree really, that they went to college for. Yeah. So, yeah. so most people are not in a job that they just really enjoy doing. Right. Okay. But we stay on them jobs mm -hmm. uh, 15, 30, 40 years and we retire. And on them jobs, many times... We don't care for the supervisor. We don't care for the Come on, uh, sir. manager. You're talking right we don't now. care for Man, the ones points. we labor with yeah. on the line. But we work it out and we stay there. Yeah. But that same subordination, uh -huh. you don't see that in yeah. the church. Come on, sir. Ooh, we're subordinate. You're talking right now. I mean, you talk. I ain't talking about that. But that makes sense. We're subordinate Come on, on our now. jobs. But we're yeah. insubordinate when it comes to the house of God. Yeah. And it's like, well, I can't he submit because right. I don't like this and I don't like that. Yeah. Well, submitting has nothing to do with what I like. Mm. My, 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 That's my. why we submit on our jobs. Right. And because when I, my supervisor might ask me to do something that I don't care to like, but let the pastor ask you to do something that you might not care to like. You get a whole lot of lip, but you won't give your supervisor a whole lot of lip. And he ain't trying to help your soul to get to heaven. You ain't going to give no lip because you're going to give you a pink slip. You're yeah. not nice. We ain't going to yeah. give him much of a lip. Yeah. We ain't going to give him no lip. Yeah. I was surprised here in South Carolina where we live. Yeah. Uh, there, there's no union. Mm -hmm. They don't have unions. Most, there might be some, but not like we have right. in other places. And people tolerate being talked down to. Yeah. They tolerate being cussed out by their managers yeah. and their supervisors. They tolerate being abused by on, their supervisors, yeah. especially uh, me, uh, uh, verbally. Yeah. And they go right on back to work the next day. Come on. But as soon as the pastor not <laughs> not 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 talks disrespectful to you, yeah. as soon as he preaches something you don't like, come on. Ooh. It can be. It's mm. most likely the truth, but you yeah. don't like it. Yeah. 
you gone. My, 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 But you my. can put up with the people cussing at you on your job. Man, you talking and right. all these other things we put up with. But when we come to the house of God. Yes, sir. It got to be the way we want it. Man, if you don't, they'll leave. We're gone. Yes. We're gone. Uh, they, didn't, uh, they didn't vote me in on the issue board. I'm gone. They didn't vote me in the president of the <laughs> choir director. I'm gone. What? Are you there for popularity? Are you there for fame and fortune? Are you there to hear the word of God? That's right. Actually, it boils down to a lack of respect mm. for kingdom obedience. Come on, sir. Uh, we're we're going to respect our managers. We're going to respect the people in our job. But in the, we know we're going to lose those jobs. Yeah. But we don't have that respect for our leaders in the church. Uh, and oftentimes, you know, you choose, I just, this thing came to me today, something we need to work on. Why do we love who and what we love? And then when mm. we figure out why we love it, is it good for us or is it bad for us? Yeah. Because what we find out is a lot of times we fall in love with people who abuse us. Come on, sir. Come okay? on, yeah. And a lot of times, sad to say, in the body of Christ, leaders that serve us, and, and cater us and help build us, we're very seldom respectful and supportive of those leaders. We just take advantage of them. <laughs> but leaders that abuse us, Come on. leaders that don't give us no liberty, leaders that don't give us no freedom, you know, we flock into those places. Yeah. And why is that? You know, that's something that we need to think yeah. about. Because yeah. the Bible says where there's liberty, there's freedom. Right. And a lot of times, we've talked about this before, Okay, just to come read a scripture at a service or come read or, or do a prayer at a service. Well, I got to get a release from my pastor. Oh, to do yeah, that. yeah. You know, I got to, you know, I, I got to get a release to go pray. Uh, come on. I got to get that. a release, preacher, yeah. to go read a scripture. Come on, And now. then this is what we put our people through. Yeah. Well, Towns, maybe that's why you don't have nobody in the church. You let them go all over the place and they stay. Well, if they're going to go all over the place and stay, they wasn't mine. All right, sir. Yes, sir. If you don't like yeah. it at home, you shouldn't be at yeah. home. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> okay. But now, we're talking about church hopping. Well, yeah. well you know, you're saying I shouldn't be there, so when I leave, I'm church hopping. No, church hopping is... When you've gone from one church to another, and and your membership keep changing, and you can't stay no more, you can't stay anywhere more than three or four years. That's yeah. as long as I can stay somewhere. Yeah. And some of it's less than that. And whenever I go somewhere, it's never a promotion. Come on now. I am who I am here when I get there. Yeah. I'm sitting in a pew here. I'm sitting in a pew there. Very seldom are people that hop from church to church. Promote it where they go, right. unless they have particular gifts like musicians or oh, praise yeah. leaders. Yeah. Or we promote them through because the church kind of prostitute those kind of gifts. Yeah, yeah. So I you know, know, we let them do what they what they want to do. Yeah. Let me go ahead. Keep talking. Let me. That, 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 that Surat, you, you, you live on TV now. We can't. Be I know that. I know that. that. I know that. I had to. I don't plug it. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> You've been disconnected. <laughs> <laughs> but look. Um, you have, we have two types of mentalities when we're talking about church hopping, okay? Uh, we have the, the, uh, the one that, uh, will hop from church to church and, uh, they can be rather hateful kind of people, untransformed and unrepented, and they'll say, um, I'm moving from church to church because I'm not growing here, mm -hmm. okay? Now, if a person needs to grow and they're not growing where they are, and they need to leave a church, you know, we all should be where we're growing. Right. Okay? That's not a church hopper. Mm -hmm. But you find out in three years, um, um, again, you still not growing. I mean, every three years, you're going to outgrow a church every three years? No, there's something wrong with you. Yeah. It's not the church. There's yeah. something wrong with you. Yeah. Um, so they, they go around to different churches, but if you feel like you need to go to another church, that's not church hopping. It's when you cannot be established in a place. What I mean, how how does my eye pop out of my body and go do a function in another body except it be through surgery? Yeah. But how many of those surgeries are we going to have? You're not going to find an eye in this body today, an eye in that body another day, and an eye in this body. You know, if you get an eye transplant, that that's going to happen well, one I, time. I, I, I don't notice. With that particular eye. Right. If you build a new building, mm -hmm. you're going to have a, a certain select of folks come for a while, for a season. Yeah. Tell that about the time that their pledges are due, then they're going to be gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then when they find something, you know, I don't find folks, when you build a new church, they'll come for a season. 
-hmm. Or they saying, well, they ain't right over there at, at Mount Rock. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm going to come over mm -hmm. here at Mount Nebo and, mm -hmm. and hang out with y'all. Then, mm -hmm. then they, uh, well, they ain't right at Mount Nebo. I'm going <laughs> to go over here at uh, uh, Cedar Pines. Wait a minute. You mean tell me you you trying to find a perfect church? All churches got you, you got their little wrinkles or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so you got some people don't want to stick it out, you know, stick it out nowhere. They just want to hop here and there wherever they think the grass is green at. They just mm -hmm. that's where they want to go. And, and and they're hopping from job to job like that too. Right? Yeah. I, no, 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 absolutely not. No, they don't have to jump. And they don't like jump that. from club to club like that. Man, we swing by all the different clubs, yeah. like each one of them. Yeah. But but we don't leave the clubs because things ain't going right in them mm. like we want them to. Yeah. We only have this uh, reaction in the church. We only have this kind of lack of support in the church. Um, so you have the mentality that um, I'm leaving because I don't like the way things are and they're not submitted. But then there's this other mentality in the church where I'm not going nowhere. Ain't nobody going to run me from my church. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. And, 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 you know, sometimes you, those are the ones you kind of want to hop somewhere, but yeah. they won't hop nowhere. Yeah, you know? you're right. Yeah. So the pastor yeah. is caught between these kinds of mentalities while trying to bring forth the vision. You know, I'm not going nowhere because uh, my mama built this church. Come on, sir. Uh-oh. So uh -oh. We, we, we committed to the cemetery. Yeah. That's what we really committed to. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm committed to this stained glass window that got somebody's name in it. Yeah. Uh, so the pastor trying to grow a church with people who won't be still mm. or people who are still with the attitude, can't nobody run me from my church. Yeah. So I'm not going nowhere. So this is what we're dealing with. Ain't nobody trying to, and on one hand, ain't nobody trying to run you. They just want you to do right. Just if anything, want you to function. You're just right. want you to cooperate. Just want you to work on your area of building the kingdom. Are yes, you going to be walking the church where it needs to go with your feet? Yeah. Are you going to be handling the things the church need to handle with your hands? You know, where you where you operating in this body. That's, know, that's what right. God are you gonna is be, intending yeah, you to do. Are you, are you going to show us what we need to be doing? Are you going to be the prophetic eye? Are you going to be the the the, uh, the the fingers that help us balance what we're going to be drinking and what we're going to be eating in the body of Christ? All of this, you know, there's many members in the body. Right. And we need all of them. My biggest thing, they, they uh, I hear people say, well, the churches don't have enough ministries. Okay, what, what, what are you doing to help start that ministry? Man, I was just in a pastor's retreat, and the pastor was saying when he got back home, they needed to reanalyze how much the church is doing mm -hmm. because the men are getting together to play golf and the men are getting together to do this, and they're not being effective fathers. All right. Now, how can you be an effective father when you're always at the church doing something? Mm. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Church has got a lot going on. Right. We've got so much going on that people are complaining about being burned out at church. Oh, yeah, you can get burned so out. Much Amen. That needs yeah. to be done. But yeah. on the other hand, somebody's saying, well, there's nothing to do at church. Well, if there's nothing to do at church, that probably has something to do with you not having any involvement in church. Right. Because why would we need a youth ministry when you're not bringing your children to church? Woo! Come on, sir. Because the church that got children in it going to have a need for a youth ministry. Yeah. And we're going to be doing a youth ministry. Right. I have yet to have somebody say, well, I'm going to leave this church because... I need to. Uh, I need my daughter to be learning something, and, and we don't have a, a youth ministry here. Right. That would be a valid reason, right, for going to another church because your family has a need that is not being met. Yeah. at this church that you're at, okay. But this is not why people are leaving churches going to other churches. Now they want that feel good moment. They want that club feeling. If they ain't got mm -hmm. that club feeling that at, at, at Sam Baptist Church, they can go over there at River Baptist Church. Oh. Or if they get, get that, you know, oh, oh. And get that so little. that's why pastors are having these dark churches and call it modern worship. Ooh. I ain't knocking yes, it. Sir. I'm not knocking what, it. Watch you, got, you, you have in church. <laughs> but we have to be careful. Come on now. How we make the church look like the world and Ooh. then say this is what we're offering God. Yeah. I mean, if it's working for you, I say, I'm not like uh, John when he says uh, uh, his disciples are saying, well, are these people of God because they're not doing like we did? And he said, well, if, if they're not against us, they're for us. Right. I understand that. If that's what you're doing. But see, some people are mimicking what others are doing just to get their church to grow. Right. You can't do that. You have to do what God is calling you to do. If that church over there is growing because they've turned out the lights and they're having modern worship, good for them. Right. Okay? But we all can't go through and turn our lights out 
and say we're going to have modern church for the church to grow because that's not how you draw people. People are drawn righteously right. by the word of God. Well, my thing is, Pastor, because uh, uh, Reverend Bishop Dr. Kello got 2,000 members, mm -hmm. it don't mean Reverend Elder uh, Cucumber is supposed to have a thousand members. It might be in the Lord's will for him to just, you know, pass a 200 something member because maybe that's all he can handle. Most of them getting that view. I want, I want what Towns got. I want what, you know, such a. Oh, what, you don't want what I got. Well, you, you know what I mean. You know, uh, mm -hmm. you, you know, a whole mm -hmm. lot of members where they can, mm -hmm. get, you know, get the nice cars, mm -hmm. nice salary, and all that. Yeah. It might not be in God's will for you to have that type of membership because exactly. you might not can't handle it. Exactly. Then, like, like, I, I don't want to go here, but it's still church hop because. Pastors church hop. I mean, yeah, they they church hop. You know, reason why some church pastors you know, here at this church for four years and another church for five years and at this church because have you ever thought everybody that's called is not called the pastor? You know, like some of them like, why you ain't starting the church? Well, they ain't my calling. You know, like Milton Bigham told me years ago, Vance, uh, be like a leaf on a tree. Find your place and stay in it. Mm -hmm. Everybody is not, and I try to tell my family members that's calling the ministry and whoever else that's coming up in the ministry, make sure that if you want to go pastor, that's your calling. It mm -hmm. might not be your calling because a lot of pastors doing evangelistic work when they need to be at their church taking care of their flock. That's but right. they at everybody else's church preaching to uh, everybody else's flock when their flock is messed up. That's like me trying to take care of my house and your house when my house messed up and I'm trying to Go over there to your house and straighten your house up, mm -hmm. and you see that, that that's a lot of that's church hopping too. When pastors are doing evangelistic work, when they're not evangelists. Since you want to bring in pastors <laughs> and church hopping, let's let's deal with this scripture right here because you know we got to be in the world. People yeah. think these things are our opinion. Oh, okay, yeah. First uh, Corinthians one says, "Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ." that ye all speak the same thing, mm. and that there be no division among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Yeah. This is another reason why there's such a massive church hopping in our region. And in all across the nation it's happening. Right. Okay? Because if we're not going to preach the same thing, people can be comfortable in their insubordination Ooh, yes, in sir. your congregation. Yeah. yeah. You know, but when you're preaching commitment, when you're preaching submitting, um, you're preaching the word of God unadulterated, mm -hmm. okay? Uh and, and and giving the people the food as they need it and not just this particular part of the diet. I can feed you only bananas all the time. All right. I can feed you only meat all the time. Mm. That's not a balanced diet. All right. But when the people get a balanced diet and yeah. they hear over here You're that, talking right. that um, you know, it's not right uh, for us not to support the kingdom of God. It's not right for us not to be supporting the kingdom with our finances. Well, if this member left my church because they didn't want to keep up on their tithes, <laughs> they're getting ready to leave you too because they don't want to keep up on their tithes. Yeah, Eventually, yeah. this person is going to understand, no matter where I go, mm. I've got to pay my tithes. Yes. Okay? So maybe they'll have an awakening that they need to stop church hopping. Right. Brother, I used to have preachers that come in my church and it was like, well, you know, towns always want you to give a dollar in the offering pan, but we think you ought to give whatever you have. Okay, well, there's a concept that you give a dollar in the offering pan that, you know, when you have more than a dollar to bless the kingdom with, this is, the, this is uh, year 2016. Okay? Right. Children are putting more than a dollar in the Sunday school offering. Right. And when we walk around putting a dollar in the pan and we always liking it as to the penny <laughs> that the woman put in the offering and it was her last. Okay, well, stop doing that because that penny was her last. <laughs> but these dollars are not our last. Come on, son. These dollars like are what that. we save to the side to, yeah. give, to the God, give to God because we don't want to give five tens and fifties. You're right. And twenties. Right. Uh, so we're going to save these dollars to give to the church. So dollars get all worn out going to church all the time. <laughs> while these other money, you know, yes, sir. They, you know, big money get spent at Red Lobster and in the restaurants. Ooh, but they're in the on. same wallet as the believers. Mm, my, so they my, come my, to my, my church. They come to my church, and when it's offering time, they say, "Well, just bring your dollars." You know, because I used to slide dollar bills out in the, between the door in the street so that the uh, 
the people walking the street could have these dollars to yeah. pick up yeah. because it wasn't helping us in the kingdom yeah. <laughs> to, for these dollars to be coming in. But people say, well, dollars add up. Only if you put them in five at a time and roll them together. <laughs> one dollar is coming from people, well, you know, you got yeah. 23,000 members yeah. and each one bring you a dollar. Okay, fine. But when you're looking at 10 people yeah. in your church, I give you 20 people in your church and each one bring a dollar, you got a $20 offering. What you going to do with well, that? Well, you know, when you... <laughs> Now, <laughs> you might as well keep that. It's not going to help the you know, kingdom. You know what? When I used to, you know, be in the church, uh, you know, every time doors open, like all the revivals. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, last month and a little bit this month, you know, you know, they call revival season, and that's what all they, you know, most people do is give during revival season dollars. A dollar. Yeah, you know. But on one hand, I kind of understand when you go into about five or six church. <laughs> When you go to about five or six church, you know, about for five, uh, four or five weeks in a row, them dollars add up. But on uh, one thing, a uh, revival really is for your church. Now, us in the southern and down this way, got where well, we got to, you know, scratch people out, know they people on 10 and 12 hours, mm -hmm. and get mad at them because they ain't going. Y'all didn't show up over at uh, uh, Mount Nebo. Y'all didn't go over there and mm -hmm. see the pine. Well, people, it ain't like it let used me, to let be. Let me share this with you, brother. Let me help you all out that's running all over the place, like he said, with these tight schedules and you go to so many churches, yeah. you got to get these dollars everywhere you go. Those are the ones that are getting burnt out and you're running too much. Come on, sir. Woo. Yes, if, sir. If you got to give a dollar to church because you go to church so much, you need to stay home sometimes and raise your family. No. Oh. My, 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 Then you go going too much yes, all you can give the church is a dollar when you get there. Yes, you're going to church too much. Yeah. Stay home and be the church. Mm. My, my. And make an impact when you go somewhere. Yes, sir. I'd rather go to one service and give a $10 bill than to go to 10 services and give $1 every Woo. time I go. Come I, on, That's now. too much ripping and running. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I yeah. tell you what. I tell you what. <laughs> Try to go to all those churches and put $1 in your tank and let me tell, tell me how well you do. Mm. My, my, you ain't gonna go all of those all of those churches by putting one dollar in your tank. Yeah, you <laughs> you right. You ain't they gonna be able to make it all. No, we ain't doing nothing in the church. That's why we can't impact the kingdom. Come on, because we're running around doing the stuff that is not helping anybody. It's not doing anything. Mm -hmm. We're doing this little busy work, running around singing and uh, eighty five songs, and ain't nobody listening. And, and you know, it's just we just going to have this singing competition. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, that's yeah. why we get burnt out. We're getting burnt out doing the wrong thing. Come on, you're talking right. You're working yes, for the kingdom. Yes, sir. And you work in righteously. Yeah. The energy comes. We don't get burnt out. Yes, sir. Come on, you talk. I like this. Yes, sir. It might not be popular, but it's right. But now, yes, back sir. to what I was saying about the neighbor. <laughs> I love they it. Would, um, they would take the dollar offerings from people and, and make it seem like, you know, me at my church, I'm a, I'm a money preacher wanting to get everybody's money. But these same preachers that would come and tell people, bring your dollar when it was my offering, yeah. I've noticed now they're at their church trying to get their people to tithe. <laughs> yeah. Because they haven't been in it long enough now to find out that they can't build a church with members bringing dollars no. in the offering. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. So when you run from this church because you haven't paid your pledge and they worrying you about paying your pledge and you running from this church because you're not paying your tithes and you're not paying your offering and this is what these people want. Uh, eventually, wherever you go, they're going to have a building project too. Well, you know what? My thing is on about ties up. I was telling, you no, know, uh, Pastor Car Carin Way this the last time we was on together that <laughs> if, if you know we treat people the way we love them. If you love your wife or you, if you love your husband, you're going to do all you can for them. Mm -hmm. And so apparently, if people is, is cutting God short, apparently they must not be in love with God. And fully committed and sold out and hold out and mm -hmm. all them songs they sing. Apparently, mm -hmm. they must not actually be like that because if they was, you know, it, it, a pastor shouldn't hit about tithes and offering, but every now and then. Exactly. But look, look at this. Now, I want to go to a church. Listen to us. I want to go to a church where people are not going to badger me and police me about how <laughs> much money I'm going to get. <laughs> Okay, I want to go to a church where if I give a dollar, ain't nobody going to say nothing to me, yeah. and it's going to be acceptable, and it's okay. Right. Well, that means you want to go to a church where everybody <laughs> else is going to carry the load, and you don't have to. Mm. My, 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 my. Now, a church with a bigger congregation, we can let 85 people over there sit and do nothing financially while this 200 people carry the weight of the ministry. My, Lord Jesus. But a smaller, and that church will do what God has called them to do. Okay, fine, but you still got those people over there that's not helping 
the church. Okay? Yeah, yeah. But now a smaller church doesn't have that luxury right. of sitting back. So I guess we should only have big churches. <laughs> a smaller church doesn't have the luxury of, of letting this five carry the ministry while these ten sit over here and not pay their tithes. Come on, sir. Yeah, so that means yeah. the small church is not going to fulfill their vision right. because they can't afford to. Now you tell me, who helps you all out there in the kingdom the most when you need a helping hand? Mm. Do the big churches help us? Or do they help keep the pastor riding good? Ooh, or do uh -oh. the small uh -oh, churches uh -oh. help us and come to our aid and come to our need? Mm. But that ain't who we committed to because it's mm. too much work to do in the small my, church. My, my, my. Yeah, so that's because you you in a small church. Well, you know, we've been in small churches. I was raised in a big church. Right. Okay? Right. So I know how they help and how they don't help. Right. Okay? Because we got big things we got to do. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. we can't help the little man. Right. We, you know, so, you know... You can help the ministry by being committed. That's right. And all over the country, we got to stop running from one church to the other just because there are things that we don't like mm, where we right. are. Because there's a lack of growth in the kingdom because we're bouncing all over the place. And I want them folks to know, singing ain't going to just get it. I mean, I love good singing. I love a uh, good worship leader. But that's not going to cut it. You got to be under some good... Sound doctrine of man delivering the word. Man, let me tell you something I learned about singing. Anybody that knows me know I love music ministry. Oh, you can sing too. You, and, but you know I love music ministry. If I could sing like you, they had to set me down. Let me explain something <laughs> to you. How is the body of Christ going to continue to go forth? And we can't quote a Bible verse, but we know four verses to a song. All right. Mm. How are we going to keep going through this kingdom saying how much we love God? When we and I ain't talking about Jesus wept and the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. <laughs> we don't have a scripture in our heart. Come on now. But we can sing 18 songs. Yes, sir. Come on now. People tell you, I make up a verse on the song because I can't remember the words of the song <laughs> no more than anything else. Yeah. But we got songs in us, but we ain't, we don't have no scripture in us. We won't even sing the songs that are written straight from the word of God. Come on, Wait, We can learn this song and I'll have this word in me at the same time. Right. We don't like that song, mm -mm. you know, mm -mm. because it's the word of God. If I want to hear that, yeah. I can read the word. Yeah. You know, but we, we as, the peop as the people of God, we've got to get to a place where we're not so superficial. All right. And our skin yes, sir. is not so thin. Uh. We got to have thicker skin than this because the kingdom, if we look in this Bible... I know this is my cell phone, but I do have a Bible there. <laughs> if we would look in the Bible, Come on, dog. the people of God is not made. Mm. We're not made of thin skin. Yeah. There's a lot of things. We suffer violence. You're right. Okay? Violence take it by. And the violent take it by force. Yes, That's sir. the kingdom. But we as the people of God, yeah. we suffer violence. Yes, we sir. are persecuted. Come on now. For righteousness sake. And somebody asked me the question. Hold that thought. Somebody asked me the question why bad things happen to good people. Because... Uh, we take it by force. Yeah, and 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 we are attacked. Yes, and uh, yes. Okay, because the world don't like us. Right. The devil don't like us. The world don't like us. And you know what's happening now? The church don't like Let me, us. Uh, go back to that question. Why do bad things happen to good people? Who was good or most of all? Jesus was. What happened to him? Bad things. They so hung him, hung him, beat him, crowns of thorns on his head, pitched him in the side, nails in the hand and the feet, him. spit on him, Scourged all scourged him. Yes, yes, broke him. Yes, and they wonder why do bad things happen to good people. But we ain't Jesus no better than went Jesus. through all that Come and on, remained sir. on the cross and remained steadfast. Yes, he remained Come unmovable. Come on, dog. Okay, and didn't call the legions. He could have got out of his out of his yes, out of his dilemma, but he didn't. Come on, dog. We have a church now. Yes, sir. But we. Yeah. Why I'm moving? Yeah. Well, they talking about me. See, <laughs> I can't stay here because they Glory talking be to God. about me. Yes, sir. And they don't. Yeah. And my God, help us in the body of Christ. I know that's right. Come on, I'm now. glad you let us preach this online because don't nobody want us to preach this I know that's church, right. Thank you, know. you Facebook. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, you know, over in Revelation, it, it tells you God don't like no cowardly soldiers. Yeah. Yes, and what, a lot of folks is cowardly. Is they that don't... in Revelation? I thought yeah. the caravan. I thought Shirley Caesar sang that in the caravan. <laughs> you sure that's in Revelation? They got, they got out of Revelation. <laughs> it is in Revelation. Oh, man. Okay. Hey, man, we, we, we got. We got I mean, I wish you, I mean, this doesn't need to be a part two on this. 
Man, I got 30 minutes. We are at 35 minutes now. Man, this is oh, some good about time. Yeah, this is some good stuff. This is some good stuff. And it's like it in the church because he's all right. He'll make a way. You know, I do that every now and then after spirit leave it. But all the time when people Listen, hungry for more. We as the men of God and women of God, we have to take more time to do our homework. Yes. Which means we got to stop running around preaching to get offerings. <laughs> And we need to establish a word in the people of God. Yes. That you can't be running all over the place and our churches be strong. It's not going to happen. Come on now. And everybody wants to start a church. Let me tell you something. All right. Uh oh. A church is supposed to be started by a leader. Mm. Come on, sir. A church is supposed to be started by a, a senior pastor or an apostle. Right. Or a bishop mm -hmm. can start a church. Right. If you're going out starting a church and you're not a pastor, Okay, you've never pastored before. Mm. Okay, you need to be pastoring a church that is already established. You don't need to be starting one. Mm. All right. Okay, a church should be started and founded by an apostle or someone who is already a senior pastor. Come on, sir. People don't go out and run churches, start churches, and then become the pastor of that church. That's not ordained of God. Mm. Ooh, somebody don't like that. That's the, that's the and one listen, truth. when we go to our old churches, our old established churches, yeah. and you read the history, and the peop a group of people got together and started a church and then went looking for a man of God in a brush harbor. These yeah. things were different. Yeah. They were coming out of slavery. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We don't have no business with people <laughs> running off somewhere in a corner trying to find a preacher. <laughs> That's... Yeah. Paul didn't do that. Right. Paul established the churches. Come on, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Peter established yeah. the churches. Yeah. Or he would send Titus, he would send Timothy to these churches yeah. as he established yeah. them and then put them in place. Yeah. And, and this is all wrong. Mm, man, okay? man, and then man, they want to say, well, when this pastor left this church and went and started another church, he split the church. No, he split the church because everybody didn't go with him. But <laughs> if my pastor left and I love my pastor, I'm going with my pastor because that's the leader. Right. A church split is not started by a pastor. A church split is started by somebody who rose up in that ministry and drugged the people off. Cut. Whoa, have mercy. Woo. A pastor, if he needs to split a church, you've got to understand something. Mm. That man or that woman feels like that church is not supporting them. All and right. they can no longer go forth in ministry in that location. Ooh, you're helping somebody. That's yes, when sir. a pastor will pull yes, people. Sir. I ain't never seen a pastor leave a church with a group of people and everything was going wonderful at that church. He left because hell was in that place yeah. and he couldn't do the ministry that God was giving him. Mm. The vision was a hinder. And yes. anyway, he split the church. And now we don't like this pastor because in our community, he split the church and, and, and stole the money. Pastors can't steal no money because most of the time he raised the money. <laughs> and if you do your homework, you find out that the funds of the church belong to the man of God. Hammer. Whoa, I didn't know that one myself. Oh, come right. on now. We got to do yeah. our work now. Yeah. We got to yeah. understand. The Levites, the priests, they didn't have nothing. Yeah. Everything had to be raised and given to them. Oh, yeah. I'm with you now. Yeah. And, yeah. And, I'm with and, you on that. And yeah. when he's, his life is the church. The man of God's yeah. life is the church. We're the ones that's coming up with the visions and the ideas in the church. And, yeah. and even the fundraisers that bring in the money. Yeah. We're the ones coming up with them ideas. Yeah. And yeah. then you're going to hold the money back from the preacher. Yeah. <laughs> You know, so you know, uh, I don't think a preacher yeah. can commit embezzlement yeah. because, well, he can, but, you know, technically, why is he having to steal it? Why is the people not letting him get it as he needs it? Yeah. It says, muzzle not the ox that tread out the corn. Right. Now, I know we got some men of God that will rob the church blind. That's not what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you got some you got some preachers that will screw the church blind too, but that's Whoa. not what we're talking about. Ooh. Okay? Those <laughs> yeah. are the ones ain't nobody that's doing a, nothing about. You know, you know, he right. can steal forever when he's really committing a embezzlement. But I'm talking about the men of God that have raised churches, built churches, and mm. the finances are there because of that man of God, but won't nobody help him grow. Yeah. Won't nobody put that ministry, that money into the ministry for it to grow. Yeah. Understand what I'm saying. I don't believe any man of God should just reach in and pull money out the church. That's right. not what I'm saying. Right. But why does he feel like he's got to go around somebody to get what is needed right. for the ministry tape. to grow? Yeah. Yeah. You know, and then yeah. he's labeled with stealing money and, and all this stuff. Man, I tell the saints all the time. When I worked in the secular world, I drove a nice car. I'm not going to do ministry and not drive a nice car. And people feel like you driving nice because 
we paying for it. Yeah. I used to tell my church all the time, I didn't come down here in a Volkswagen, and I'm not going to leave here in a Volkswagen <laughs> unless it's my choice to drive it. Yeah, all right. Okay? Yeah. So we got to understand these things. Yeah. Yeah. I know that. Because we're missing right. it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As yeah. we hopping from church to church. So Man. preachers, we got to preach the same thing. Yeah. So people yeah. can understand. And listen, stop being so happy when people run from one church and come to your church. We're not happy in a church until people are getting baptized. Mm. Delivered. And delivered mm. and saved. Yes, sir. People from another church is not a sign of church growth. Yeah. That's a sign of people changing tanks, and that's a sign of people hopping churches. Right. And I promise you, when another church come by better than yours, they're going to hop out of yours into another that's one. Right. So why be happy when people, you know, leave one church and come to yours? When they come to mind from another church, I always would tell them, are you in debt with that other church? Because I can't receive you here until you go finish paying that pledge off. Mm -hmm. right. Where you came you know, from. I, my people will tell you. They don't come into my church and they got problems at the other church that they left. Yeah. That's why they know when they church hop, don't hop to my church. Yeah. Yeah. They hop out of mine. They don't hop into mine. Mine or hop, they hop out, yeah. but they don't hop in. <laughs> yeah. I understand. Uh -huh. Yeah. Y'all? Oh, man. I hope uh, what, what's been said and done today will be a seed planted in somebody's life that it will prosper, I mean, you know, sprout up in your life. And you take it. And, and take this good seed that's been planted in your life today. I thank y'all for joining in the work today on Facebook Live. I thank Facebook owners and the monitors. I appreciate y'all. We love y'all. Praying that God will keep giving y'all wisdom and knowledge and let y'all know that there's something great is coming through Facebook. Amen. And Pastor Towns, I, he got to go to work, y'all. I just got off. But uh, close it out in prayer. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we come as humble as we know how, thanking you, Lord God, for this medium to get the word out to the body of Christ and to the world at large, Father. We ask you, Lord God, to help us with your, with your assignment that you have given us. Allow yes, us sir. to obey them that have rule over us, Lord Father, and over the kingdom, and allow us to submit ourselves unto them, for they watch for our souls as they must give an account that they may do it with joy and not with grief. For that is unprofitable for all of us in the kingdom. Yes, our sir. men and our women of God are in grief when they're praying for us. I pray, Lord God, that the kingdom is no longer divided against itself. But there will be unity in the body of Christ that we can go back to impacting the world. For I, 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 We're saddened that the scripture is still true. That wiser are they that are in the world than they that are in the church. And Father, we mm. don't want that to be true yes. in our region. We want our region to be wiser than the world. Amen. We want to be harmless as doves and wise as serpents that we will strategically accomplish the work that you've gotten for us to yes. do. Bless those, Lord God, that are established in their ministries. Bless those that are church hopping to open their ears <laughs> that the scales would yes. fall off, yes. that they were here. They don't have to go back. Just stop hopping. Just stay where you are yeah. and stop hopping because God can use you wherever you are. Yes. Teach us now. Keep us that we might work to your glory. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Remember, let your faith kill your doubt and don't let your doubt kill your faith. And if you <laughs> bless God, he'll surely bless you back. Until we meet, a, to, until we meet again, my friends. May heaven continue to smile upon you like it is doing now. Amen. Miss Pop.